In the previous lessons, you learned how to control the flow of execution using the decision-making powers of if expressions and the while loop. In this lesson, you will continue to learn how to control the flow of execution, but in an advanced way. You will learn about another loop known as the for loop. So let's discover what is the for loop and what is the usage of uh, for loop. Loops may not sound very interesting, but they are very common in computer programs. For example, you might have code to download an image from the cloud with a loop that could run that multiple times to download your entire photo library. Okay? So, you will also learn about the when expression, uh, which uh, are uh, particularly powerful in uh, Kotlin, and we will introduce it later on. But before we dive into the for loop, we will start by things called range. Okay. Before you dive into the for loop statement, you need to know about the range data types, which let you represent a sequence of countable integers. Okay. So it's a method to represent. Please write them down to understand them. And later on, if you want to uh, review your uh, codes and studies, you can get them directly from your notebook. So represent a sequence of countable integers. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, two types of range. The first type, it is called closed range. I will create a constant called uh, CR closed range zero and look guys how to make the uh, closed range zero to five okay so in this way we have created a closed range the two dots indicate that this range is closed which means that the range goes from zero to five inclusive so from zero to five inclusive let's print cr to see the result and run and here we go we have zero to five it is it is the range. This is the range of uh, the closed range with CR. Okay, so that's the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are included inside CR. The second type of ranges is called half, half, open range okay which would you represent like it uh, like this val a half open i would say half open range h o r equal zero and look guys we are going to use until so it is a keyword here until five what are the difference between these two ranges the first one here you replace sorry here you replace on the second one the half uh, open range here you replace replace the do, two dots with until half open means the range goes from up from let me comment from zero to four inclusive okay so but not including five that these numbers are zero one 
two, three, and four. And above the numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this way we have learned about the closed range and the half open range. Okay. This is the range in, uh, in Kotlin. There is another uh, thing that you should learn. One and a half open ranges created with uh, two dots and the until operators are always increasing. They are increasing. But somebody will ask me how to make the range decreasing. So how to make it the making making sorry uh, a decreasing range we start by in other words the second number must always be greater than the uh, than or equal to the first to create a decreasing range you can always use down to which is inclusive so val uh, decreasing range dr equal to five look guys down to down to zero okay and this will include all numbers but in decreasing order so it is zero uh, sorry five four three two one and z okay these are the ranges in Kotlin. This is how, what are the difference of range, different ranges. Uh, and they are commonly used in both for loops and when expression, which means that you thought the rest of the lessons, you will use ranges as well. So we are going to use these ranges in the loops and the when expression. So I hope you understand this that the closed range is from zero to five and in inclusive. Yeah. So uh, half open range is zero until five and five is not included. And to make it the crazy range, we use five down zero, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And zero is inclusive. So zero inclusive and five inclusive. Thank you guys. I hope you rate us five stars on Udemy to support us making new tutorials and new courses.